and welcome back to another drawing with Mr. Smith. Today we're going to be doing a simple Celtic knot design. So basically an interwoven knot design. <clears throat> Just want to give you a little history about um, the Celtic knot design. Um, it's basically complete loops that have no start or finish. So it keeps going around and around. Use your finger to follow and it never stops, never ends. So it's said to represent eternity, whether this means loyalty, faith, friendship, um, or love. Usually one thread used in each design. We're going to show uh, two designs, so I'm going to, I'm going to show an interlocking kind of S design. Um, it's going to look like it's woven, okay, and then having kind of a loop um, being threaded through that. So um, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need basically just pencil and paper. Um, you can use a ruler if you want to help measure things out. Otherwise, you should be fine. I like using the old thumb and finger to measure sometimes. All right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a pencil and some paper. Um, I'm going to be using a Sharpie just so you can see it better. So hopefully I don't mess up. You can obviously go with a Sharpie later to outline it. Um, but I would use a pencil so you can use a ruler and what you're what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the um, By making some dots. Okay, so What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my my finger and my thumb to kind of measure out So you want to be able to have four dots across Okay, so I'm gonna start with one two Three Four okay, so they're, they're equally spaced, okay, and then you're going to make that same equal space, and you're going to go down, so it's an equal amount of space, and you're going to do that three more times, trying to keep it being the same space apart, so that's one time, here's two, it's not going to be super straight um, kind of eyeballing it you can eyeball it as well but if you want it to be want to be a little bit of a perfectionist then you can use a ruler that would do about maybe two to three inches apart or if you have some grid paper you can do that as well <clears throat> once you're done with that you are going to be putting a dot in between each section so there's it's going to be three instead of four because it's going to go in the middle so kind of find that middle and put that in there now remember if I'm going too fast for you the great beauty of this YouTube video thing is you can hit that little little pause button right down here or wherever it may be and you can rewind pause stop take your time with it um, so hopefully I'm not rushing too much I'm using a different table so hopefully it's not wobbling too much because every time I touch this table because it'll shake you know so kind of feel like boss nass a little bit on uh, Star Wars if you get that reference so you have your center dot so if, if you can't find the center dot if you just count from the corners and count in it's the it's the fourth dot in okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on these next dots so the third dot in from the corner okay you're gonna come up you're gonna go, you're gonna connect the dots, and when you get that dot, you're gonna make a little hook. <clears throat> okay, and then all you gotta do is turn your paper and do the same thing. You're gonna do that towards all four corners, you're gonna do a hook. And when I was looking at this, I know I told you earlier it's like two strands. We're basically gonna almost make it look like there's three ribbons interconnecting. That way, when we do color, if you do decide to color it, you can use three different colors but obviously if that is not an option um, it works well with pencil as well okay so far so good have it messed up looking good all right so if the hook if the curve line is going towards the right here I'm gonna start on the left so I'm gonna go one dot over I'm going to go up then connect the corner and then go here. So I'm basically connecting three dots. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna do that again 
on all four spots. So basically I have almost all of my dots connected somehow that I made as my guide. Now obviously there's lots of different kind of interlocking knot patterns you can do. Um, I figured this one might be a little easier somewhere to do it. You can also do it where if you do this lightly in pencil you can come back and make them skinnier so they're not so tightly woven. We're going to do a tight one almost like you take that knot and you pull it tight. Okay. Now, now is where we get a little bit tricky here. Okay. So you're going to go from the bottom of this curve. Okay. Because this is like the knot curving around, but there's another knot that's coming around. This is that circle that I was telling you about. So what you're going to do is you're going to come out towards here <clears throat> and you're going to kind of guess and see where this part is and you're going to kind of curve it going towards. And guess what? You're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to rotate it and do that three more times. So this is a lesson in repetition and overlapping. So I'm going to overlap this around. I'm going to come around. And it's going to look like this is going right underneath and this one's kind of going through. Now we have to finish it out and we got to do this middle part here. So once you have all four curved lines drawn, then you're going to go to the middle. And you're basically going to make almost like a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to make that checkerboard first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect. Think of these dots still being there. Okay. You're going to go here. Once again, do all four. Okay. And then you just have to make two lines down the center. All right? All right, so once you have those drawn out, as we have right here, okay, think of it this way. You almost want to follow your finger and have it kind of go around the ribbon. So it's basically going around here. It's going underneath that circle. It's coming up over, but then going underneath this one. So it's, so it's kind of interlocking. You can see it better once we start coloring it. If it helps you, you can kind of draw the lines so they're more curved. I just did it kind of quick because I wanted to kind of make it as easy as possible for you. Okay, but what you're going to do is um, you're going to choose three colors and I'm going to show you and you're going to you're going to color each one. You can either do two of two things. You can either color solid, okay, or you can use some value going dark to light and I'll show that direction so that way you're showing with the highlights as 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 the ribbon or strands are overlapping another one that's going through. So do one of these two things. All right. So best of luck and enjoy. Going to do a little quick color. Let's color. Now this is some speed coloring. First, I'm going to mark off right where I have the color, just so I kind of know when I don't color the wrong thing, the wrong color. I'm going to be using three colors. I got two right here. I got my well, apparently I have three hands, so I'm using purple, green, and I'm going to finish off with the uh, light blue, so also known um, as the cool colors for cool cats like yourselves, and um, as I color, I'm going to be doing the value, so I am shading from dark to light um, to create kind of that 3D look that uh, there's a highlight in the middle with the, the lightest of the color, almost white in the center. Um, of each section that I'm coloring to emphasize that there's something going underneath. Um, so just finishing up here, um, thinking I'm done and be like, ta-da. Oh, wait, forgot this one, everybody. Here we go. So finishing off that green. Um, you can also color solid. That's cool, too. Um, I just wanted to show this because, uh, you know, why not? Um, zoom in a little bit because the, the blue is really light, but um, hopefully you can see it. If not, um, adjust your televisions now or whatever viewing device you're using. Um, just want to say thank you for watching and uh, look forward to the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little subscribe and like button right there if you have not already. Otherwise, thank you. Ta -da, ta -da.